Okay, Thursday morning in the kingdom and happy USA Turkey Day. Yes, hopefully Les Nessman's not out there reporting the turkey drop. Yes, that was a classic. Back in November 22nd, 1978. Oh, the memories. Good this morning. I don't know how that happened. All right, this morning we woke up to minus 17, but feels like minus 22. Yes, it's not that chilly, actually. All right, on the oil scale, minus 4 Fahrenheit, but feels like minus 8. Oh, confusion. I say that every day. I'll never understand the yo-yo scale. Also, too, I tried to order something on sale through Princess Auto. Tossed it in the cart, hit my postal address, and guess what? It said could not complete the sale due to the postal strike. So you figure the big corporation like that? would take my sales items and toss them into a, how would you say, a bin or something, and say when the postal strike is over, we'll accept this. So once again, I'm paying. So when I go to buy that item, it won't be on sale. But oh well, that's all for a part for the course. And also to Hydro. Yes, the company that cut us off for 42 hours, no communication, didn't care for care about us. And they had their updated website there with misinformation is emailing me constantly on all three of my emails stating due to the postal strike we are required to pay our hydro bills in a timely matter on the due date well uh hello you didn't care about us when the power went out for 42 hours and you're putting more effort into making sure that we pay our hydro bill at the end of the month well maybe you should have sent us emails when the power was out or contacted the CBC, the Communist Broadcasting Corporation of Canada, to do a news story saying we have a communities in the north with no power. So if you're trying to phone Cousin Eddie, the phone doesn't work. Yes! And then people can't figure out why I never return their calls in three days. Oh, well. Oh, yes. Nobody calls me anyways. Oh, wait. I kind of turned the phone on or whatever. Turn the ringer on. Unreal. So that's the new world today. The big corporations demanding money and make sure they get their money so their big corporate bosses can have their bonuses and everything like that. Meanwhile, there is no communication when there is trouble on their part. It would have been nice if they sent us an email saying, hey, if you're reading this, the power's back on. Yeah. Or some of us that are, how would you say, living off grid and have the generators. Yes, let's back up. And get the me phone out here. Yes, I think it's warm enough. I had it right by the wood stove so it could survive a trip outside. Look at that. No sun, clovercast, cloudy. And we're going to take the famous black cat out today for a little dragging. We got a chain drag and windrow a little wider. Yes, we got the stoves going. It does feel warm out here. Yeah, it's kind of strange. It's all lies on the weather network. Yes. All right, so we got the stoves going. Look at the smoke for the Swedish kid. Oh, that's a Christmas card setting. Yes. As the people in the USA are eating their turkey dinner in their shorts and they're in Arizona. How with the air conditioning going on in Florida? We're up here freezing. Yes, but it's not really that cold. Oh, well, but we're having fun. So we're going to have a good day today. And the staff is hopefully going to get her phone hooked up. So her little helper can call out to the outside world. Yes, the outside world. All right, I better go. Here comes the boss. Okay, over in the hose shack, I did a playback of the morning intro. And you could hear the wood stove. Because we went into a high pressure air system. So as, as soon as you open the wood stove door, you're not getting a, a face full of smoke. All right, so now we have control in the stoves. We got the da vent down there closed. And I'll close the door here to show how, how you say it's burning. Oh, maybe I'll open it look at that that's a good fire same wood same everything we're just throwing it in here if it's coming in really snowed we got the big fan so you know an hour with the big fan dries it out pretty quick and let's turn the damper down a bit there we go now we're set this will warm up pretty pretty nicely in here okay they're forecasting more snow for us so i took it upon myself to toss a tarp onto the trailer so we've never done it this style we've always had the wooden totes from the summer but this year is different because we're using all these toothpick trees that we've gathered in the wilderness so this is totally different for us but the thing is we adapt overcome and improvise oh that was clint eastwood heartbreak ridge so we do things differently and make it easier so before the big snow we didn't have to tarp it now we tarped it we threw a tarp on the wood so we don't happen to play hide and go seek where is the wood in the snow 
Okay, last night before our bed, I checked the weather on the Weather Network. Yes, I checked all three of them to get an average of what's going on. It was supposed to get chilly last night, down to minus 21, but it was all lies, like my marriage. So, drunk me came out here and plugged the cord in, but I had the timer in right here. So, first thing you do when you get up in the morning is remove the timer, because you don't know if you actually got it right or not. So, drunk me last night didn't sweep the snow off the hood of the famous black cat. So now we have all this ice. So then the ice has gone down. It'll be on the inside of this panel. You can see it down there. So that'll make it, how would you say, difficult for my life. But that's okay. Once the cat is up and running this afternoon, if the staff shows up sober, we'll be out dragging. Because we want to use the famous black cat because it doesn't have the high cleat grouses or anything like that. It's the perfect drag cat. Plus the blade floats along. It's a homemade blade. So it's not, it's designed to, has shoes on the bottom so it's designed not to cut plus we have the wing tip there the breakaway wing tip because you hit rocks so you can see it's all damaged down there so that will windrow the snow off the trail to widen it out from the dragging of yesterday okay after the big snows we took laverne the td6 of the gas motor in we took him out pulling that tire and the pallet behind on the snow but this snow is not compacted so if i was to drive the car down here it wouldn't work it's got some softness to it i don't know if you can see that last nestman but it's not uh how would you say a true winter road or ice road as they would say this is a dog walking trail so it's totally acceptable i can walk along here drunk or sober and not have a problem okay this is a virgin packed trail okay because we didn't drive through here at all or anything like that we just came through with the bismarck pulling the double z i don't know if you can see the dirt and you can see the snow so that's a high spot that's a high spot over there that's a low spot so the greater blades the four greater blades are cutting like a grater smooth this out so you can see it plus what's been cut right down so it's like rock hard. So if I was to go get the 48 Chevy sedan delivery, I could drive along this trail right now if it was wide enough, okay? So that's the difference in the drag texture, drags we're using, and we want different textures of snow. We want a good base like this, okay? So now we'll widen this out with the famous black cat and the chain drag, because the chain drag is a pepper drag. Yes, we call it pepper because it takes the snow and makes it into little peppers and then it works good into the trail. So we'll demonstrate that later. But this is what you want. And this snow base that we're building will last us well into April, even on the warm, hot days of March that we'll get to lots of sunshine, this trail will last. Thursday morning in Whoville, it's just after 8 a.m. and I'm waiting for the MTS truck to show up so you can put in my new phone line. They came by last night to see if I was going to be home today, so hopefully they show up nice and early. So let's head inside, let the dogs out, make breakfast, and wait for MTS. Almost 9 a.m. and MTS officially showed up. They're going to run a new line all the way from my pole to my house, and then they're going to go in beside my little air vent to poke the hole through for the jack. Got two MTS trucks out in the back lane. They are working on putting the wire up. You can actually see the wire right there. They are starting from outside and then they'll string it across. They're trying to keep it nice and high so the kids don't rip this wire down. 9.30 and they just put the jack in through the house and now they are working outside from the pole to the house. So I should have phone within the next half an hour or so. 10 a.m. and an hour after they showed up here, I officially have a phone. Listen to that ringtone. It's not staticky at all like my last phone line was at my old place. Now let's get the skidoo out so I can go do some shopping. Looks like Dick is out flying around again. Not sure if you can see him. He's right there. That is very strange. He's like hovering over top of that house over there. Not sure if you can see it through the trees.
think he's trying to land in the back lane. What in the world? Well, that was very strange. A helicopter just came in, did a circle around the house, and they went and landed in behind that blue house in the back lane, which is very strange because I didn't think there was enough room for them to land over there. You can actually still hear them. Now we'll head over to the kingdom and get the card and go up and do some shopping. 10.30 and I made to the kingdom and got the card. On my way to the kingdom, I stopped to see where that helicopter landed and it actually landed in the hydro yard, which isn't good because there's hydro lines on every corner of that little yard there. So I'm not sure why they landed, but there is a picture of it in the next video. Now let's head up and go do some shopping. Almost 11 a.m. and I just finished my shopping. It was $191 for everything there. And if I look over, that helicopter's taken off again. Very strange that they're landing over at the hydro station. Now let's head over to the kingdom and drop all the food off. Just after 11 a.m. and I made it to the kingdom and dropped all the groceries off. Now I'll head on back into Whoville and make my lunch. Then at 1 p.m. I'll return and we're going to get the famous black cat out and go get the drag that's down by the rabbit tower and widen out our little trails. Almost 11.30, I just made it back from the kingdom, came to the back of the house so I could show you guys the line that they put in. It's right up on the top of the hydrometer there, which is good. The kids won't be able to reach it. We're lucky and we did the snow right before they showed up, so everything was nice and firm for them. They even took down my old line that was strung right there into the back lane. 12 p.m. and I'm just getting ready to make lunch. As you can see, it started snowing again. It's been on and off snowing most of the morning, so let's head inside, let the dogs out and make lunch. I think I'm going to have craft dinner today. Okay, lunchtime in the kingdom, we're in high pressure. Yes, I boiled water for tea or coffee this morning, went quickly, and the stoves are burning nice. Yes, it's the same wood we're throwing in there for how many days, and now it's burning nice. The shop's warm, and the doggies are warm over in their loader's shed. So this morning, to amuse myself while the staff was out shopping, yes, here we go. All right, so we learned a long time ago that this yellow glue, I think it's ABS or PBS or whatever that is, you put it on, but it doesn't come apart. So we're finding out now that when the sewer line freezes, we're just duct taping it. Yes, duct taping it. And that's a perfect connection because when the sewer line freezes, these joints expand because the duct tape isn't holding it. So this morning we went, aware, went to work with the Sawzall and the die grinder and we got them apart. Yes, we got them apart except for this one. That was too much good glue back in the day, but that works out well. So now we can, oh, I'm hooked. There we go. Look at that. I got talent. I caught it as it rolled off. All right. So now we got spare pieces and the angle foo foo thing for the sewer line. So then if it does freeze up this winter, we we'll, we'll have everything for a quick change out. And then we can thaw out the sewer line that's frozen. Yes, thaw it out. Yes, or we'll unthaw, which means to freeze. All right, let's go have some beverage. I mean, some lunch. And then we'll get on the famous black hat and do some speed dragging. Yes, speed dragging almost 1 p.m. and I'm just finishing up lunch. This is the temperature we're sitting at right now. It's negative 12 degrees Celsius, which is 10 degrees Fahrenheit. We even had the fields like on the bottom. Looks like it's going to be another snow day. So let's head inside, let the dogs back in. Then I have to run up into Whoville and go grab some meat, then go over to the kingdom. Just after 1 p.m. and I made to the kingdom, I was able to get a big box of pork chops and a big box of chicken breast for $90, which is pretty good compared to the prices elsewhere. That'll last us at least a month or two. My dad already has the famous black cat going, so now we're going to head out and do some plowing and widening out the trails. Then we'll go down by the rabbit tower and pick up the drag that we accidentally took down there yesterday. 1.30 we got the famous black cat out and we're down by the ramp and the box car. Remember this big tree that we were going to pick up with the loader when we came down here with the quad and the trailer? Well, we're going to take it up with the cat.
Got the big tree up to the shop, no problem. My dad even grabbed another one as well. Now we'll head around by the rabbit tower and pick up the drag and do a couple laps with that. And then we have to windrow a few things as well because all we did yesterday was use the double Z drag. We didn't really push anything back. Almost 2 p.m. we made it down in behind the house to grab this drag. We actually dragged it down here yesterday with the double Z drag. It got hooked on. That was in one of our videos from yesterday. The rabbit tower is just around the corner over here, so we're going to hook up to the drag and bring it back around to the house. And then my dad can push some of the windrows back. Because if you see right here, nothing really got pushed back. It's just kind of rolled over on itself. While my dad goes around the rabbit tower and back into the kingdom onto the south trail, I'll go walking through our south walking trail and meet him on the other side so I can get a little video. Down the south trail now, waiting for my dad to bring the famous black cat and the drag just so he can clean up this little area here. We have to keep dragging the trails to get them nice and firmed up, that way we can start doing our cat train. Can't really do much if there's dirt. p.m. and I made it over to the rabbit tower. I'm just waiting for my dad to come from this way and then he'll go back into the kingdom. Just after 2 p.m. and I'm back up at the house, my dad's just gonna scoot around the yard a little bit and flatten everything out with the drag and push up some windrows. While he does that, I'll head down to the shop and fill up the tubs with firewood. Down at the shop now and I got both of the wheelbarrows out, I'll fill them up with small kindling stuff like this and then we'll put logs on top. We also have a tarp on top of the fancy trailer because we have a bunch of snow coming. Almost 3 p.m. my dad just put the famous black cat away and now he's down at the shop. We have to change out our old oil filter that we get from Sir Rodney down at West Trans. These are the ones that we get. You gotta make sure you put oil around the top before you put it in. Now he'll put it into the skill saw and we can start cutting up some firewood. 
Hey, what's up, Kingdom followers? Sir Rodney from West Trans. Uh, feature product of the day today, we're going to do WD-40 to help get Joey's spark plug out of his skill saw. Uh, WD-40 has come a long way. Look at they now have degreaser. If we go down a shelf, they got lubricant, dry lube, silicone, some kind of specialist penetrant, white lithium, and some more dry lube. So yeah, WD-40 is not just WD-40 anymore. So uh, I also noticed that some of the followers have been purchasing a lot of swag lately. Canada Post is on strike right now, so hopefully we will get them out very shortly, as soon as they can get it out. And for all my American viewers, all my American friends, American followers, Happy Thanksgiving, enjoy your days off, enjoy your football, and enjoy your turkey. Talk to y'all later. Okay, close to quitting time, and Sir Rodney sent up the video to include it with the servicing of your skill saw. And he is correct. When we did the first time, we had to use the big three-quarter inch drive, but we put the spark plug there. We put a little WD-40. He sent this up in August of 2024, and it's the value size. Just like when you buy those condoms at the drugstore. Oops, I shouldn't have said that. All right, so a little bit of lube on the spark plug, and it was easy to change out. So Sir Rodney is correct with the WD-40 helping with the lubrication, because there's always time for lubrication. 3 p.m. I'm officially done in the kingdom. We got the wagons and the wheelbarrows filled up and now I can grab my dog treats and head on back into Whoville and do the weather at 5 p.m. I'm not feeling the greatest. I think I'm getting sick again. 5 p.m. and this is the temperature we're sitting at right now. It's negative 12 degrees Celsius, which is 10 degrees Fahrenheit. We even had the feels like on the bottom. It was a pretty nice afternoon. Then it started to snow. So let's head inside, let the dogs out, make supper and end my day. Okay, 5 o'clock in the kingdom and the chain drag works out good, but we need some speed. Yes, driving in the cut. We did the wind rowing. Now we need some speed because we got to get that chain drag to pepper this snow. Yes, change the texture of the snow. Yes, here we go. Everything's going good and it's getting dark at 5 o'clock. All right, so we got the wood stove stocked up. You can see that. And of course, we're going to need a bigger saw. Yes, a bigger boat, a bigger saw, just like in the film Jaws. But that's a pretty big tree for the toothpicks of the north. And and over here, look at that. We got the Lynn tractor. We dragged it up to the shop. I don't know if you can see that, Les Nesman. It's kind of dark, but we need something with speed to drag the drag. Yes, so we can speed drag. So we'll see what we can do with the Lynn tractor. Seems how we didn't have them out last year. We tried to record that moving the Lynn to the shop with the famous black hat, but the me phone died. It got cold, it got chilly, so it turned itself off. Sure, I'm glad it wasn't in the bedroom. All right, look at the flags are in their natural state of being limp. All right, let's go walk the dogs, drink some beer, make a video, and we'll talk to you later.